Ready? It's uh, swilling the axle here. Axle. And um, today's subject is leaf blowers. Yep. And um, what did you say a while ago about well, the leaf blower? I was saying in the wheel that um, if you think about it, if you think about one tool, it, it represents like symbol that could symbolize pressure. Okay, it, oh, it's it an impressive too. It would be an impressive tool. Yeah. Tool. Uh, it would be the leaf blower. Just think about it. Okay. So you you you're not using a rake, and rakes are a thing. Are what you use to pick up the piles so you throw them in the back trash bags. No, mm -hmm. you're making it someone else's problem by using a leaf blower. That's right. I agree. I can't think of anything more precious than that. I can just imagine the imagery of someone living on top of a hill and using leaf blower so everyone below the hill gets their, their garbage. You're absolutely right there, Axel, and I'm going to tell you a story about that stuff. I, me and my dad, we used to uh, mow lawns. We used to cut grass. For, um, well, my dad would work his 40 hours at Kaiser Steel, and then we on the weekends we would go and he'd... Um, I'd go with them with like 9 or 10 maybe or 12, 12, from 9 to 12 maybe. We would go and we'd cut grass and uh, we would always use the rake. I would rake it and I'd pick it up and I'd throw it away. Or we would have like a vacuum. We would have a leaf vacuum. It would be like a giant lawnmower but instead of cutting the grass it's sucking up all the dirt, all the grass and all the leaves. It'd be a vacuum, um, a yard vac. But um, this crap about them making a leaf blower when that first came out that's the lazy man's way because you're right all they're doing is blowing the leaf from one area to the other area mm -hmm. it was originally made so that people could blow the debris pick it up and throw it away mm -hmm. but apparently they've gotten so damn lazy that all they do is pick it up mm -hmm. is blow it away blow it into somebody else's property mm -hmm. and forget about it because it ain't their problem um you know when i used to live in purdue we had that problem with um, my neighbors, um, gardeners. They would blow all their crap to my yard, and I accosted them, and I said, "Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing?" You know, we almost we almost went to blows about that, but um, you know, we, we didn't. And I I just threw it back in that damn neighbor's yard. I said, "Hell with you," you know. I threw it back, and then uh uh, because I used to sweep, cut my grass, pick up my grass, sweep it, rake it. None of this leaf blower crap. Uh -huh. It's a lazy man's thing. And I'm sorry if you have one. I'm sorry. It is what it is, mm -hmm. you know. Not trying to judge anybody here, but it is what it is. It makes things all it okay. You all know, it, it makes things faster. I'll give them that. Faster for who? Because exactly, though. But I it, mean, in the end, it, you're, you're still not, going. You're like, in the, in the, it's noisy. It's, in um, the end, it's not better for anybody. No, in in the end, you're just throwing it to your neighbor's yard, and it's gonna kick your butt mm -hmm. eventually. Not today, maybe tomorrow uh -huh. when it gets out of a wheelchair or something. <laughs> But, um, yeah, man, just use the old broom, the old long, the brooms, the push brooms. Uh -huh. It's called a push broom. Do you guys remember them? They push your broom, get a little scooper, pick them up, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Job done. And, you if know? You're on the, if you're on and I don't care. And I'll, right. I'll, I'll debate anybody on this. Uh -huh. You know, been there, done that. You know, you know? there's no way you can tell me, oh, but that's the way. Okay, all right. The Here's the only, hey, snapper. Um, anyway. This is the only way where I think that an air blower is actually of good use is when you have a lot of debris inside rocks or you have like a, um, a, a garden and it was got a lot of cactus or a lot of flowers, not a flower because it's going to ruin your flowers, but a lot of hard, hard cactus or cacti, a lot of, a, a lot of landscaping that's got a lot of um, intricate um, areas that debris gets into. Well, then I agree. Shoot it out. What's going on? Shoot it out. Then. Shoot it out and um, get it out of there. And then go back to the old broom and rake thing, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, they have some good quality brooms out there now, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you can you can do it. Si se puede. But uh, anyway, um, that's yep. our topic for today. Yeah, and, well, you today know, the wheel turned 60. Yeah, today is my birthday. So um, that was my topic for today is that I say bring back the broom. Bring back the broom, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, that's the way it is. What happens when you went, when you run out of electricity or you don't have no more gasoline in that blower? You, you know, to the old days. Yeah, it's the old days, man. Just like paper and pencil. But uh, other than that, that's our topic, and um, uh -huh. we're sticking to it. Uh -huh. You know what to say here. Adios gato. Adios gato.